morning, how are you today? We are still at the hotel. It is half past 11. I have had a terrible night's sleep, but actually both Stephen and myself last night, we couldn't get to sleep. I think it was about two o'clock in the morning by the time we get to sleep. We still have not got this whole Chinese time figured out whatsoever. About two o'clock and then I woke up uh, about half past five and I was awake for a little while. I eventually did fall back asleep about maybe half past seven, just for an hour or so. But I'm knackered, absolutely knackered. Stephen has just woken up about an hour or so ago. So he had, has had like a decent amount of sleep, but I haven't, but never mind. I think today we're gonna kind of have a pretty chilled out day. I'm gonna, I've got some washing to do and catch up on some editing and stuff. And like, cause we're leaving Beijing, not tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna go to the Great Wall of China. Um, the next day we're leaving Beijing. So I've just got like a few travel arrangements and organizational things to do. So it's gonna be a pretty chilled out day today, I think. Plus we've had like three days of like constant walking around and stuff and Stephen needs a bit of a break from it I think really don't you he's nodding yes he does need a little bit of a break from it I have done my washing I have got clothes like hung all over the hotel room bit of a nightmare I booked some train tickets from excuse my pronunciation of these because I can't pronounce them whatsoever but Zhang Zhang Jiaji Zhang Zhang whatever it's called um to on our way down to Hong Kong like for in about a week and a half's time I'm having a bit of a nightmare. I can't do it whatsoever. I don't know why I can't do it. The price seems to like double when whatever price I've been quoted and then when I go to pay, it's like doubled to like two hundred and forty pounds or something for the trains. I'm like that's not how much it costs. Unless I'm just being a complete dope. Maybe I'm being a dope. Right, forty four dollars is apparently thirty three pounds. So why, when I book, when I try and book two tickets, so it should be like £66, I don't know why it's coming back saying it's like 240 or something. Ah, oh, let's do my head in. I don't understand at all. Right, so I've got two adults, because Stephen's an adult, because he's 155 centimetres. And then, so total is 154, sorry. And total, 109 US dollars. Okay, so I clicked a different button, instead of pay now, just to inquire. It says they'll get back to me within 1 to 12 hours, so we'll just kind of wait and see what goes on with that. We've finally made it out of the room. I tell you what, you can't like realise it from inside, but it's a flipping warm one again today, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Boiling again. We're just going to have just a little wander, just stretch our legs a bit, really. Wander around our little, like, where our hotel is. We just need to nip to the shops to get some little bits and pieces. And then probably just back to the hotel. It's a little bit of a boring day today. But... Hey. If you ever come to China or Beijing, I don't know whether it's like that anywhere else. Little tip about crossing the roads. They pay no attention to the green man whatsoever. You just kind of have to go and hope for the best. Don't you? They're kind of all mental. Like, right, it's green man. Oh, actually, these are, are paying a bit, a bit of attention. It's a green man. Say, right, it's a green man so we can cross, and yet these guys are coming. It's not too bad on this one because it's like a quiet a junction, but when it's a busy junction, they just keep coming. See, look, oh my goodness. You're beeping at us because we're crossing, and it's like, it's a green man, dude. What are you talking about? Stephen's found some nice little, um, they're like Chinese pot noodles, I think. These things. He had one last night for his tea. That's the and he loves them. Saw. Is that one? That's the one we saw. No, that's the one we saw. Yeah. Are you going to get another? Are you going to get one for lunch? And they're a bargain as well. Look, they're like 3 dollars which is like 4 40 50 p Bargain lunch. And I get full. And you get full? Excellent. But they don't eat goldfish, do they? Do they eat goldfish? No. Oh, a, pet. a pet? I don't think it is. If it's tough as a pet, it's a bit of an odd thing to put it next to the fish. You can't eat goldfish. You can eat crab. The Chinese people eat goldfish. They might not. What these dogs and cats? They probably do. <laughs> they might do, yeah. We've done our little bit of shopping. We're just going to go and have a little wander and then head back to the hotel. <laughs> Thank you. 
Avanqueo. There's an egg in this one. So by the time we got out, they were kind of all gone. You can still hear a few going off in the distance, but that's it. Stephen is completely unimpressed with Chinese fireworks. Were they rubbish? They were just yeah. bangs and flashes. He said, <laughs> kind of what fireworks are. But no, they don't <laughs> explode. Yeah. They don't explode, they're just like a bang. Ooh. I couldn't really get them on camera because it's kind of like by the time we got there. They were kind of finishing really. They weren't very spectacular, to be honest, but we went on out of luck anyway. I'm just getting ready and organised for tomorrow. Me and Steve are just going to have a quiet night, watch a film, I think, tonight. I've got my drone bag here. I'm just sorting that all out because we're going to the Great Wall tomorrow, so I need to pack my bag and make sure my batteries charged and everything because I'm going to try. I don't know whether I'm allowed to fly it there. I'm sorting all that out. And then we're gonna watch a film. Very excited about the wall tomorrow. We've decided, I was kind of didn't know which part of the wall to go to. There's various different bits that you can go to. One of them is the easiest and most touristy one to get to. But the other one that is less toy, the one that I think we've decided to go to, is not quite as easy to get to, but it'll be quieter. Possibly, that's supposedly, that it's supposed to be quieter. And I think there's like a, a cable car up. I am not good with cable cars, by the way height thing again poo my pants on cable cars but it's got to be done there's cable car up and then like um a toboggan or is it called a toboggan i don't know i don't know what it's called i think it's called a toboggan and a toboggan down so we're going to that no, it's bit not called a toboggan, it's called a slide. slide a slide whatever it's called and then there's a slide down so i think that's the bit that we're going to i've kind of organized i've had a little look today about like where how we get there and what to do i think it's going to take us a long time to get there so the plan is to get up quite early and go so that's why we're having an early night tonight because we're still not into this whole chinese time so right anyway yeah i'm gonna go pack my bag i'll put it in the vlog here actually now i might do i might see you later i might not we'll see i am in bed we've just had a quiet evening tonight the plan was to go to sleep early but somehow it's gotten to half past 11. i just cannot get to sleep in this goddamn country it's a absolute pain in the flipping arse but um i think we're gonna get up early have i said this i think that yeah i have said this that we're getting up early to go to the war in the morning so i really want to be asleep by like at least 11 but i'm just not tired anymore <laughs> i'm probably gonna just lie here till like two o'clock oh it's killing me this jet lag palaver right i'm going to sleep anyway guys thanks for watching today sorry we didn't do anything but tomorrow should be epic See you then. Good night.